Hello everyone. Welcome to the live webinar, 31st May. Let's wait for some time and have our friends join in. In the meantime, we can have some chit chat. How are you all doing? Feel free to drop a message in the chat box. Let's wait for people to join in. Hello guys, I welcome everyone to the live webinar today. Let's wait for a couple of minutes and have our traders join in. In the meantime, you can post in the comment box. I see comments coming in. Hello, Ajay. Uh, Mr. B. Krishna, well, we will be talking about the strategy. I'll let you know in, in a couple of minutes which strategy we are talking about. I welcome you all. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? I have people from Philippines, people from India. That's, that's really good. So kindly join in. Let's wait for some more people to join in. And then we will start our webinar for today. How are you all doing? Alright guys, I have some comments coming in. I have people joined in. So let us begin with our webinar today. First of all, once again, I would like to welcome you all to the live webinar which has been conducted on 31st of May. We will certainly be discussing about what strategy we are going to learn today and how the strategies work, all of that. But as uh, people who have attended my webinar before, this is Karmi from Olim Trade. So I basically just give you a short uh, tour to the, of the platform for those who are new to it and um, basically if people have just joined Olim Trade, it's just a short description on how the platform looks like what features does the platform has we'll talk about that and then we'll move to our main part which is the strategy and then make some trades and then I'll have some chit chat with you guys over the comment box okay so once again let's just go let's just I want you to focus on the screen I want you to look at what I'm trying to explain so that after the session is done you can practice it in your accounts and uh, get better results too so uh, first of all this is the platform okay this is the screen that we get on the web version I'm using the web version so this is what we get when we use a web version uh, we can check our trades here we can go to the market here and where we find our any events happening we find strategies we find different themes uh, we find events over here if there are any sure we'll check the comment section in some time guys okay so we have TPL 2023 happening which is uh, which I'm sure most of you have participated in so there are different events which all trade keeps on conducting and we find those events over here guys okay this is one of the most important section which is the help section which gives you uh, you know a place to connect with the support team as well as help find your answers about your trading and there are some trading tutorials some trading tra uh, videos related to fixed time as well as related to Forex so you can certainly try those all right and if you have any more uh, queries you would like to discuss about you can certainly check on the on the uh, help section just give me one second let me just go back to the Olim trade page all right so I do not need the training because I'm uh, done with it so whenever you s click on that page you will get a pop-up which would say start training and then you go through different tutorials and once you're done you can finish it all right here comes the 
here comes the assets so when we click on the assets we find the list of fixed time trading and uh, fixed time assets as well as forex assets so you can select from the different range of assets that we have it starts right from 90 up to we have right up to 30 percent 10 percent as well but right now we are going to talk about assets in the later run and this is forex trading all right we see our accounts over here demo account the iron account and the usdt account currently i'm using the usdt account Oh, so that's what you see over here we have payment section where you can check your deposits withdrawal transfers and all the transactions that you make so here you see your export level all right apart from that this is your profile where you can check and make some settings if you want here we fix the trade amount this is the duration here you find a risk freeze the up and down so this is the basic idea this is just for the people who have just joined all in trade okay so risk free deals many of you ask us where do we find risk free deals and this is the shield kind of sign where you click and you find the risk free deals all right so i hope the basics are clear so today as you know when you go to expert status here is a technical analysis section so we have different indicators different oscillators different strategies as you all know that whenever you go on the export status or whenever you have some premium statuses there are some strategies given to you all right so let me talk about the strategies well the ones with the blue arrows are the strategies that are available for us starter traders all right the other with the green arrows are the strategies available for our advanced traders you see ftt and fx written those strategies work on both fixed time as well as forex where it's just ftt it works only on ftt and fx works only on forex okay and the ones with the yellow arrow yellow mark has uh, are the strategies available to experts so when you come on experts you have access to all these strategies when you come on advanced you have access to all these strategies above the advanced status okay so this is what strategies look like now what is a strategy well basically i'm sure most of you guys might have tried different indicators different oscillators but if you see whenever we use indicators and oscillators separately we have to make some changes to it right whereas strategy comes with some standard settings and it's a combination of different indicators as well as oscillators all right for example today the strategy that we are going to talk about is the jacta strategy which is available for our expert traders and it can be used in both fixed time as well as forex mode okay so when we click on the strategy it gives a video it gives a small video where you can just check about how the strategies work i would recommend that you please do check this tutorial as it is going to be a small kind of guidance for you uh, before using this strategy all right so what does this strategy do this strategy is simple and effective as it only uses three smas three simple moving averages it is suitable for moderate a volatility periods and is perfectly compatible with le with level trading and chart or candlestick formation and patterns the signal to open a trade is the moment when a candle a candlestick intersects the ma sma sorry this strategy is recommended as one of the primary tools of technical analysis and you have you may watch how it works so i just recommended you that you watch the video now as you see it contains it has three indic uh, three indicators three smas basically whenever you click on enable strategy you will see that sma 50 sma 100 and sma 200 is active all right so now this is something that expert traders can do but what if we if you are on an advanced status or an or a starter status would you not be able to use this strategy uh, well that is not the case so even if you are on the starter status even if you are on the advanced status let me show you how you can still use this strategy okay so if you are on a starter or an advanced status tick, click on the technical analysis part and go to our indicators add one SMA then again go add second SMA as you know Jactar is a combination of three SMA okay so we just checked that one SMA is 50, the other is 100 and third one is 200. Now what we will do is we will make this change and we will, you know, move it. We will change it to the numbers that the Jackta strategy suggested. So if you see that was the difference I was talking about. 
the strategy comes with the default settings here you have to manually make the settings okay now let us quickly change the colors of the sms because it's confusing so we will change the color we will change the thickness so that we are able to understand it in a better way all right okay so we need to change this to 100 and this would be the color would be green the thickness would be this all right this we would change to blue we would keep this thickness all right so i hope it's visible to you the blue one is the 200 sm uh, 200 sma the green one is the 100 SMA and the yellow one is the 50 SMA. Alright, so it is Jack Child's strategy. It consists of three SMAs. Now what are SMAs? It's a simple moving average indicator. Okay, so it basically makes us understand the, mar the trend of the market. It makes us understand whether the candles, the asset has been in a bullish trend or a bearish trend. As in, as is it going downwards or is it going to go upwards? So SMA is the most used tool, most used indicator amongst traders. I'm sure not as Jactar, but most of you have used it individually, right? So let's understand Jackta's strategy in a better way. I do see some comments coming in, but guys, I would just get back to comments maybe after explaining the strategy to you. Okay, so please keep, leave, leave the comments. We'll get there soon. So yes, what is Jackta's strategy? So basically, Jackta's strategy. If you see a candlestick, okay, let's just go through some asset where I can explain it to you in a better way let's just find some examples okay so basically 200 the sma 200 is the most strongest indicator okay if you see a candlestick either crossing it from top to bottom or from bottom to top that is a sign of a reversal trend so if that happens with 200 it's a signal that you should certainly try if it happens with 100 if you see a candle coming from top to bottom you can open a trade in a reversal mode so that means we will open a trade and trade in the above in the up way okay so i will be sharing some examples with you to understand it in a better way i want examples with 200 sma just let me check give me a minute okay so let's just understand this in a better way so here you see the 50 sma the candle tried to cross the 50 sma and since it was not able to if this candle would have closed above the sma line above the 50 sma line that was a sign that the market would go up but since it closed below the sma line it continued to go down all right so let us understand this in a much better way since you know this time the market is very volatile so we will see what we can do to understand it in a better way so now you see the candle has crossed the sma 50 it is going towards sma 100 all right and we can see that it's giving an upward trend now if this crosses sma 100 we can try to open a trade but again the entry point matters as you all know i always suggest that we should be making trade we should try to make trade in the initial 10 seconds or maximum 20 seconds all right now here if the candle closes below the sma 100 it can be a reversal okay if it closes above the sma 100 we will just check this graph again so basically we need to understand the trend first so here if you see it was a trend of upward position okay but if you go a bit to the previous chart here the trend was not predictable so, so in this situations we are going to avoid making trades because the graph is for one minute our trade duration is going to be the double or triple of that the graph um, graph timing so if i make a trade here okay if i make a trade somewhere over here for two minutes after two minutes by the time my trade would close the market started going upwards 
or the market started moving upwards so it was very unpredictable and i always recommend that we do not trade when the market is not very stable so what we do in the, those situation we start changing assets we start you know moving to different assets so that we can understand it better we can trade we can have our options open also let me tell you if you feel that one one asset has given you two to three negative trades kindly either change your assets or take a break of maybe 5 to 10 minutes so that you can you know freshen up you can have a better set of mind and then you can trade so these are the things that you need to follow for better psychological you know trading so here if you see the market has started going downwards okay we can see that this candle did not form well this was a red candle it can go downwards but the more gap we see between the smas the better signals those are okay if the lines are very near i would suggest that we try to avoid trading it now here if you see the candle the green candle closed below the sma 100 so there are chances that this might be a reversal trend i hope this is clear so whenever the candle is closing below the line and the next candle starts forming just see whether it's forming in a red color or a green color if it's below it is a it is going to be a reversal so if you see the trend has been this way it was down then it went up and again it's going down so this is following some trend all right so basically if you see a signal a a candle crossing over here see this is very unpredictable if here i make a trade this would have the lines are very close by so it's a very risky situation it's a very risky you know way of trading so just check different assets is all that i suggest you guys okay any any i hope it's clear till now and do you have any queries do you have anything you want to talk about please leave it in the comment section over here if you see again the market the trend has started changing it's going downwards so we will be finding some assets we will be making some trades certainly we will try to make the maximum trades we can the here the candle closed above the line and the market is going upwards so need to understand that where the candle closes there is the situation the market goes now before we start making trades before we start taking some trades i would suggest that do not copy my trades because there there is a difference of maybe a cup of five uh, some seconds between my screen and between the broadcast so when i make a trade there are some time differences and by the time you make you copy the trade you make the trade the market can change so do not risk do not go into any risky situations do not make any trades while you are watching the webinars not only mine any webinar do not copy trading while you are watching it okay so if it's not clear i will certainly discuss it with you once we start trading it will get more clear all right so please focus on the screen we will look at different assets and we will see which assets are giving us signals okay basically it's a very simple thing whenever a candlestick is crossing an sma and going in the direction it is a sign of reversal trend so always look at the next candle and if you see that you know it's going near the sma 200 if you see this can be a reversal trend so we will try to make a trade here always keep the trade time double of your graph timing okay so since at this time the market is very volatile we will check how this goes we will make some trades we will check how this goes and uh, we will again for the people who have joined you know maybe 10 to 15 minutes after we started the uh, session so we will again discuss about the strategy after making some trades so give me one second the platform is loading all right so let's just by the time uh, the platform is coming up let me explain you jactar actually in a very simple way in our day day to day life you know example so we are playing uh, you know we are playing with a cricket ball or a tennis ball uh, we bounce it on the floor if you are bouncing it on the floor that you are standing at it would just come up with some force okay as soon as it hits the floor it would come up with some force 
now if you are throwing it on the next floor if you are standing on the first floor and you are throwing it on the ground floor the uh, it would again hit the floor and come up with some force okay because you throw it with the force and if you are standing on the second or the third floor and then you are hitting the ground it would obviously you apply more force and then it comes back you know it reverses back to you with extra force so that is uh, where you are standing is sma 50 the first floor is sma 100 the third floor is sma 200 okay so the as soon as it hits sma 200 we know that it's going to reverse as soon as it hits sma 100 we know that it would reverse in some speed but as soon as it hits sma 50 it can reverse it can come to us again okay so i hope now it's clear now we have a better understanding of how uh, sma 100 sma 50 impacts the you know the reversal was this example better for you to understand it is what we can discuss so let's check some assets let's let's check let's make some trades okay so here you see the trend is changing now okay so right now as it is but these lines are very nearby why i would avoid trading on bitcoin at the moment the SMAs are very nearby so that means this is a very risky situation so I am going to avoid the Bitcoin asset I was just trading today with this strategy and GBP USD did give me good signal so let me check that as well so again if you see this these lines are very nearby and they are going to they are giving you signals but this short candles these small candles that form that is not something that you know I would certainly risk on because you have seen me take trades and I do take trades where I find it's a good signal but here in these situations it is not a very great signal so I am certainly going to avoid okay here you see there is a trend it's going upwards it's going it's going downwards so yes since we are entering in the middle of the candle I wouldn't have traded here but we can certainly mark it and look at it for the next time just give me one second is the strategy clear to you did you understand what we are looking at or do you still have some doubts please feel free to ask questions if you have doubts about this strategy because I want that the, by, that by the time we end this webinar you should know clearly how this strategy works so that you can practice it in the later run So let's see let's make some trades let's see I would want I would just like if you make some comments and let me know if you're understanding what I'm saying if you need more clarification we can certainly discuss it so now let's find some assets and make some trades if I get signals I will be making some trades for you guys so that you can understand it in a better way euro usd okay so let's see let's try different assets and see how things are going let's search for signals because it's not that every time every asset would be giving a signal but yes also one more thing i would suggest is what we can do is we can change the time period of the graph okay so if you change the time period of the graph to five minutes then you obviously need to double up the time duration of your trade to 10 minutes but this would give you much smoother signals okay so it would be much easier for you to understand with jactar uh, the trade time should be two to five minutes if it's a one minute uh, graph but if it's a five minutes graph you get better signals you get more smooth signals and then you double up the amount double up the time duration okay so let's see if we find some signals with the five minutes um, time frame well here you see we might have a reversal
I am not finding signals even in the five minutes window. Well, we can certainly make a trade here because we see it's a trend being followed. So I would make a down trade here and let's see how it goes. In the meantime, let's just check some comments. So I have Harshit saying, please analyze gold. Well, Harshit, I am on gold, but at the moment I do not see any good signals on gold. And uh, Ochai, so I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. You said it's not too clear. I hope it's clear to you now. Mm, Ajit said my Insta ID. Well, Ajit, I come here for you, you know, uh, for on the webinar. So anytime you want to, um, know anything about trading you can certainly join the webinar on YouTube on the global channel and you can certainly practice more about this so since we are back on one minute we will be changing the trade time here so here you see we might have a signal because uh, we might get a signal because if this candle closes here okay maybe somewhere near the 100 line or if it closes above so it's kind of following a trend the market is going down from here so it is a trend coming up let's see how it goes let's make few trades and check them together let's make some short duration like two minutes three minutes trade some longer duration trades and see the results any questions guys please post your questions so the candle closed below the 100 SMA, 100 SMA, right? But the market has been going down. So I would obviously be making a trade downwards. Let's see if it goes in our favor. There are chances that many times, you know, over here, if you see the trade is not very much in my favor. So there are chances that the trade does not go in our favor. But at that time, what we do is we start using the marching deal okay so i have explained you guys how marching will works so what we do is we double up our amount of trading we double up uh, whatever if we lose a trade we double up the amount and we try to recover it right so that is what we will be doing over here let's see if the candle closes in red and the next candle forms again is red we will see if we are able to make some trades I want a situation where the candle is just intersecting the line. So that would be a better way to, you know, demonstrate it to you guys. So we had made a trade previously on Asia Composite, that's positive. Now we are waiting for our 10 minutes trade to close. So right now our situation is our trades are not very positive because we made 10, 10 minutes trade. The trade in gold, it's still a long time for you know the trade to close, but it is showing positive. So let's see how these trades end. In the meantime, I see that one trade on Euro USD is not going very well. So I would certainly, yeah. So I would certainly double up the amount okay as of now we are using a risk-free trade so let's see how it goes so yes this candle is forming in the up position let's try make a trade upwards so the candle closed you know the candle closed above this line all right that means there is no way the market is coming down it's an upward trend that the candle was giving so we made a trade upward now let's see over here if you see it's intersecting the 100 SMA and it's trying to come down. So if the next candle that forms is red, it is certainly a it is going to come downwards. If it is intersecting, if it is going upwards and it's, in, it's closing above the SMA, we will make an upward trend. So let's wait for this candle to close and see where the market, where the trend is going. So you see the trend is almost changing and it is not a very stable trend. So see, since the candle closed here, it is showing you an upward trend. Now let us change the time period first to two minutes since the graph is one minute. Let's just place a trade and see how it goes. 
so we have two trades going positive three trades going positive three going one going negative so this there will be a slight fluctuation which is fine okay so we will certainly try to recover things we will see how it goes since there are still some time for the trade to go close you never know how the market goes so we will be making more trades we will be finding more um, you know more examples more signals and see how this goes so this trade this one trade is positive now yeah two trades positive now okay so we still have time let's check where gbp usd oh no i am sure this is not going to you know anywhere sooner come near my trade so but still there are five minutes you never know basic dollar index again it's it's going downwards so what we are going to do is since we lost two tra trades we are just going to double up the amount and recover it okay So as you guys know, none of the strategy is going to guarantee you 100% success. It's that even we lose trade while you know doing the trades, we too lose it. But what we need to focus on, instead of fo focusing on the negatives that we lost a trade, we need to focus on how do we recover this trade? What do we do to in order to recover this trade? So yes, martingale is something that we can certainly use and try to recover. So here if the candle that's forming again, is a downward candle is a red candle you can certainly understand that the market trend is going downwards because if you see there is a trend in this asset okay so we lost this trade now we are going to recover it see this is something I was trying to make you understand to avoid so we have two candles uh, red one green then again one red and now other one i don't know what it is going to look like but this is something that we should be avoiding because these are the riskier way of trading so wherever you see now over here if this sma is crossing this line and going upwards and if the candle closes in the upwards it's going to be an upward trend so let's see how we work on this uh, we will just start this so here you see the next candle that is going to form will be in in green because the trend is going upwards now Well, I would still try wait for some time to see the performance of the candle and if I feel it's not you know giving a proper result I would try to avoid it because I don't want to demonstrate something that would confuse you guys more okay so are you looking at the graph are you looking at the different assets any suggestions for the assets So basically when we are following the Jacta strategy, we wait for the candles to intersect the SMA. If it intersects the SMA from down to top, it is going to be a reversal and we trade in the down position. If it in intersects the SMA from top to uh, bottom, it is a reversal and we trade in the up position. Okay. So here it is intersecting, it is going upwards and let's just check. So here it is giving a sign of up position. We will try to make a trade. Let's see if it gives us a positive result. If you see the SMA 200, this actually acts as a resistance. If you see, if you go to different assets, you don't see assets crossing. Where it has crossed, where it did cross the SMA 200, it went up but it again came down. So if you see SMA 200 actually acts as a resi resistance. Now also let me tell you one more thing, one you know small uh, tip about Jactar. So if the SMA 200 is you know um, is if the SMA 50, if SMA 100 and SMA 200, if the 50 is in the bottom and SMA 200 is coming on the top, that means the market is going downwards. If SMA over here in some assets we see that the SMA is SMA 200 is at the bottom that means the trend of the market is upward so if you see from here the market has actually been rising 
ओके सिंस द टाइम एस एम ए टू हंड्रेड इज बिलो ऑल द थ्री एस एम एस फ्रॉम यूर फ्रॉम यूर इट गॉट बिलो ऑल द टू एस एम एस रिमेनिंग टू एस एम एस एंड द मार्केट हैज बीन अपवर्स बट इफ यू सी ओवर यूर द एस एम ए ब्लू द एस एम ए टू हंड्रेड इट हैज बीन अबाव द रिमेनिंग टू एस एम एस फ्रॉम यूर एंड द मार्केट हैज बीन कॉन्स्टेंटली डाउन द मार्केट वॉज नॉट एबल टू राइज अबाव दिस एस एम ए सो इट्स एक्चुअली इट्स एक्चुअली अ साइन टू यू नो अंडरस्टैंड द एस एम ए मोर ऑल राइट so one trade is positive the gbp usd one the 10 minute trade is negative our gold trade has gone positive so yes if you see one more trade has been positive so we have to recover around 20 dollars so we are going to double up the amount and work on our recovery well in the meantime guys is the strategy now clear to you if the candle hits here if the candle hits here it is going to it hits here and go above it's going to reverse if it hits from the top it uh, the red one hits here it's going it's going to go to the bottom it's going to reverse and go to the top uh, upper side so is the strategy clear to you guys by by the time i find some signals do you have any doubts about the strategy well i know for some guys it can be a bit confusing but yes that is what we need to understand that the moment the candle hits the sma we need to make the trade so opening point comes where the you know entry point comes where it's near to the sma all right so over here this is a proper example if you see the green candle did not cross this line and it started giving a downtrend so the next candle that forms that can again be a red candle and that is where it is giving a downtrend because if you see the market has constantly been rising from here so here it is giving you a downtrend let's make a downtrend and see how this goes in the meantime let's also find some different assets so here market is going to again go up but we do not have it near the if here we would have made a trade it was a good you know position to trade so see you now sma 200 now when the market this is the i just mentioned this is this acts as a resistance so when the uh, candle has hit the sma 200 it has started going down so now it is going to be a downward trend the next candle which forms if it's in red we are going to make a trend uh, trade downwards okay which is actually a reversal so yes we will try to make a trade downwards after the can after this candle ends because we are not going to enter in between so let's change our amount back to 10 and let's make a down trade so as soon as the candle started i made a trade okay so that is what we need to understand that the entry point matters now there are chances that trades go successful trades go unsuccessful but what we need to focus on is our recovery so the more we work on our strat uh, the more we work on our recovery the marching bull the better uh, you know chances we have to recover our, if we face any losses so as i mentioned none of the strategies are 100% accurate there can be strategies which are not very effective for you or there can be strategies which are giving you good results so we need to understand what strategies we can be focused on what strategies we need to try on so here if you see okay let's check a example here if you see the candle closed above the sma 50 and then there was a reversal here the candle closed below almost above the sma 100 there was a reversal so this is where the reversals are happening this is how it's working okay so here if you see this candle has closed below 
okay and the next candle has just started so let's see if it hits the SMA 100 and then we'll see how this goes so the previous trade is positive this trade might almost be positive is what I feel so let's see so basically why the trades get positive and negatives at time might be there are signals but why does it get negative because the entry point is something that matters if we enter when the candle is already 35 seconds or candle is already on 20 seconds so that is not the time that you are supposed to trade so if you see even my this trade is almost positive okay just eight seconds to go so i was actually able to recover these trades over here all right so this trade went positive why did this trade go positive now let's analyze a bit over here i did see that the 200 sma the green uh, the candle ended just above the 200 sma and the next candle that was formed was below was in red and it started going downwards now since it closed above the 200 SMEs it is obviously going to reverse all right so that time uh, that is the time when I understood that since it's above the SMA it's going to reverse I need to make a downward trend I waited for one candle to end just to understand the trend and as soon as that candle ended I made my trade here and as soon as I made a trade the market started going downwards okay so again let me tell you guys the most important thing in trading is patience and uh, it is also understanding the graph in a better way understanding the entry point if you enter somewhere in between it becomes unpredictable now here this is such a huge heap now this is unpredictable if here I would have if the SMA was here and I would have made a trade it is an unpredictable situation so why avoid such a situation because your one candle is red one is green one is red so that is where you need to avoid it okay see again if this candle closes here there can be a reversal but again just check the trend okay check the trend there were two can one candle is red one is green one is red one is green again green again red so I think we have made some trades let's make a couple of trades more and see if we are able to you know understand the strategy more any confusions by now guys was it clear that we need to wait for the candle to intersect the SMA line and where the candle ends according to that we will we need to understand the reversal I hope that part was clear to you so that is all about the jack tire strategy okay again whatever time period that your graph is if you're trading on a one minute time period your trade should be either double or triple of the time period of the graph so it would be a two minutes or a three minutes time frame it can be up to five minutes the next thing that we need to focus on for better signals yes you can do one thing you can just try to change the uh, time period to five minutes and then double up the time duration of the trade to ten minutes okay so that is something which you can certainly try on are we getting any more signal somewhere so here you see the SMA 200 and the SMA 50 are very close by remember I told you when the SMAs are very close by we avoid that situations because here one candle was green the other was red again we had a small candle which was green and now this one is green the market is going upwards but again this uh, blue uh, the blue SMA the SMA 200 acts as a resistance so when the market is going upward it is actually a lot of fluctuation there so let's see where this candle closes we will come back to this and if it goes below the SMA it it can just reverse back any questions guys in the meantime you can drop your questions in the comment section because the, in, within the next five minutes I will just uh, go back to the comment section as we ha I have made some trades I would be looking to make some more trades and then we'll go back to the comment section
I am unable to find any signals in the 80% assets at the moment. So don't we have any questions because I do not see much questions in the comment box. Any any concerns you have regarding the strategy, any more queries you have, uh, will you be able to practice it in your demo account maybe for some extent and then in your uh, you can practice it in your live account too. Let's if you are not finding the signals, let's change the time frame and see. Okay, so by the time I've just made this trade and we will keep checking more assets. Let's go to the comment section. I have a question. What's money management use and low amount of account? Um, so money management, basically money managers, management is something where we suggest, you know, the traders to trade on uh, either uh, 5 to 10 percent of their main account balance. So if you have a hundred dollars, you can trade on 5 to 10 percent. Your one trade should be of 5 to 10 percent. And again, the time duration certainly shouldn't be very risky. That is the short duration time frames. So that is how you can work on your money management. I hope that answered your question. Well, when possibly the market is non-volatile, that is a very, uh, you know, difficult situation because uh, normally in the evenings, uh, especially, you know, at this time, the current time that we are at, uh, maybe when we started our webinar, that is when the market is very volatile because the US UK market, it just starts at that time. So then the fluctuations are seen then the uh, market becomes a bit more acts a bit more volatile so that is the time that we can certainly you know focus on and we can try to avoid on uh, no why you trade not trade from low amount of account I'm sorry no can you please explain uh, I mean ask the question again okay uh, I the question is not very clear. No, you said because low amount of account, we can't use martingale strategy. Okay, so I, as I understand, you're trying to say that uh, you have, if you have a low balance, it becomes difficult for you to use the martingale and recover the amount, right? Well, in that situation, try to trade for longer duration. If you see here, I've made a trade for 10 minutes, so I'm sure by uh, you know it can be a positive trade it can be a negative trade but at least I would have some time to you know focus and recover it out so uh, noob yes um, account balance matters when using martingale so certainly you know while making trade we should be focused that we are using martingale and we have that much account balance Any more questions, guys? You're most welcome, Noob. Um, your all traders name is Thomas well no uh, 
everyone's name is not Thomas, we do have Thomas who takes the session. But sometimes, if uh, you know, either uh, he's not available or something, we have different uh, traders who join in. What you are looking for a signal? I didn't get though. I a little understand the strategy, Samir. Uh, if you didn't understand the strategy, very simple thing that you need to understand is where it touches the SMA, it would reverse from there. Okay, if it touches it touches at as green above the SMA, it is going to come down. If it touches below the S, if it touches and goes below the SMA, it is going to go up. So it's just a reversal strategy that we are working on. Okay, I hope that's clear now. strategy not working no after two three days it's because market pattern change well market is fluctuating and if one strategy is not working we can certainly try on some other strategy and we can see if that works for you okay so yes that is something that we can focus on Satyam, Satyam, I didn't get that thing. Then why this isn't reverse? Uh, well, which asset are we talking about? What do we What do we look at the signal as in? Um, I'll just get back to that, Samir. Uh, no, my name is Karmeet. We normally have webinars in English on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay. Um, at the same time. Well, uh, in Asia also it did reverse, right? Over here, if you see, it ended below the uh, 200 SMA, it did go upwards. Now, after going the upwards, if it comes here and it, it is again going to go below, this will again be an upward trend. So, from here, the market starting fall, started falling down. Satyam, I hope I'm able to answer your question. Over here, the SMA 200, the uh, candle just hit the SMA 200, but it closed below it and then the reversal started. Okay, so that was an upward trend. Now here it started going downwards. After, it, if it comes, if maybe here somewhere when we are not in the session, the candle would again go upwards if it hits over here. So basically we need to wait. We are not going to trade anywhere over here. We will be trading on these candles in the beginning of the uh, when it hits. So even over here if you see. Let me show you some examples actually. Alright. So over here the candle closed. Okay. The candles were closing above, but we had very unstable trend. One red candle, one green. But here, we can see that the market started grow going down. Now, when it closed near, again, there was fluctuation. So, basically, let's check different assets for you to understand it in a better way. Because I think you're getting somewhere confused. The market does get down when it hits the SMA. So, we are not going to over here if you see. Okay. So, here, um, the SMA 100. It did come down, it hit the SMA 100 but it closed above and now the trade is going upwards. Now this is a trend. If you see, here the asset has been performing that way. It is going upwards now, it came down, now from here it again starts going upwards. Uh, Noob says there is a difference on the chart between all in trade to other trading app for, or forex. Well, certainly because um, everyone can have different brokers and they can have different uh, brokers who provide different codes. So yes, it can be some different. There can be some difference. So over here, Satyam, if you see it closed, the candle closed above the SMA 100 and now it's a reversal from here. Okay, so that is how these strategies work. And as I mentioned, none of the strategy is going to provide you or uh, you know give you 100% success ratio. But there can be strategies which can help you improve your trading quality, improve your trading performance. So that is why we practice different strategy. I hope that's clear for you, Satyam. Any more questions, guys? Before we end the webinar, we have five more minutes to go. Any more questions?
see again here i could have made a trade but if you see candles are green red green red green red so it is an unstable asset okay well uh, trading in forex satyajit certainly a few things that uh, you know uh, we would focus on forex is first of all shorter multipliers and if you want you can certainly check for some forex assets as well we are already short of time let's see so basically if you are making any trade on forex then uh, try to you know change the time period at least to 1 hour or 30 minutes to understand the candles better all right and try to trade on shorter multipliers at the moment we are already uh, when you we are already out of time so already running out of time but in the next session we will certainly make some trades on forex as well all right all right friends so it's a time to you know end the session and uh, do drop your comments we would be answering your queries later on as well i do see that we have a couple of comments but as we are running out of time maybe in the next session we will be able to talk about uh, those queries again and yes it was great to have you as an audience and you you guys have been very supportive and i hope we come up again with some more better strategies some more uh, you know that would be helpful in your trading so thanks a lot for your valuable time in this webinar and i hope you have a great time trading thank you everyone have a good day